Good afternoon, friends, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Defining Virtuosity. I'm Odin Rathnam. Um, this afternoon, I'm continuing the uh, Wolfhart studies with number 22 and Allegro. Um, the 22nd Etude of Wolfhart is similar in some respects to number 20 in that the composer has four note slurs with hairpins, this time ending in accents, um, and this time marked allegro. So some of the same um, benefits come into play. To review from um, number 20, uh, the point of the study, among other things, is to encourage the slowing of the bow speed at the beginning of a new stroke by creating um, a, an increase in the bow uh, speed during the life of a note. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, where the new direction is slower than the last beat of the previous direction. And the um, notes, uh, it's in C major, are um, just a simple melis melismatic melody um, and, and moves along like this. <laughs> One of the things that I try to really focus on is how many notes I have on each string, where I am in the bow, and, and what the planes are, what, what strings we're, we're crossing and how, so that I can check that regardless what part of the bow I'm in, I'm comfortable on all of the various planes, that the shoulder's freely comfortable. That's one aspect of it. And then, other than that, if you, if you break this down into the most fundamental strokes and play it and play it on one string. The notion is that we're we're traveling back and forth with an even tone from the frog to the tip. But one of the ways that, that we learn to do that is to actually crescendo on down bows um, towards the tip. In this case we're crescendoing in both directions. That's also to to slow the bow speed, as I said, on the beginning of a, a down bow slur. Because what we would like to have happen is to have the hinge and the fingers uh, springs act as a sort of baffler for the bow chain, so that when the arm is beginning in the new direction, there's a moment of slowing of the bow speed in the fingers that cushions that new direction so that we don't get any lurch at the beginning of a down bow or at the beginning of an up bow when we do the opposite, when we, when we travel in that direction. Um, this study should be practiced slowly as well as quickly. And I also think it's important um, to address a couple of the fingerings that are um, not ideal. Um, the second line of the study, first measure, I would use the fourth finger both for the D and for the F natural on the second half of the bar line. This is to avoid doing um, <laughs> that four note slurpee on, a, on one string. So most of the adjustments that I've made um, to the fingerings, whether it be a fourth finger on the G string or an extended four for an F natural on the A string, are done to limit the number of string crossings that we have. Um, based on that principle, if we look at the fourth line, um, beginning the fourth line we have... Uh, in the old Shermer edition, it's marked open E, but I've replaced that with the fourth finger again because I would rather not change the color um, across the slurs if possible. There are slurs in this etude where we have to cross the strings during the slur, and that's fine. But where avoidable, um, I've, I've replaced open strings with fourth fingers, um, F naturals with extended fourth fingers. Uh, that is, uh, I think, the only real adjustment I've made. Um, the other point I would make is when we get to the recap on the one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seventh line, third measure, we might want to change the, the volume again, do, do it weaker than we did the first time, or with uh, piano, sotto voce, like we did with number um, 20. Um, and I, I also think that it's important from a musical standpoint to um, practice uh, creating the sense of an ending. Um, in the last line, when we, if we go from the second to last line, last two measures, um, this idea of creating a sense of finality by broadening slightly, I think, is important for that study. I hope this was helpful, um, and uh, please uh, list any questions or comments that you have below. I'll try to answer them as best I can. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my cha channel, share, and like if you did, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.